get this feeling I wanna run away Hit the highway and never look back I wanna watch it fade away in the rear view mirror Won't get lost cause I've been really off track Lately been running, but I've not been going anywhere I've been hiding without being found I've been loving, but I've not been feeling anything Been standing still, the world keeps spinning around currently 6 30 we're already at KU so finally the day is here I'm so excited I got my wig installed yesterday at Nuru although I mean you see our forehead I think I'm so used to my forehead but now I'm like where did it go where did it go but anyway I'm looking forward to a great day I'm looking forward to finishing school definitely um graduating of course and i'm so so grateful one thing for sure i wish my mom was here but i know whatever she is she's so happy and proud of me because i've made moves since like she left me for the last two years uh god has been faithful so and i will never 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 stop saying that because i can never take any sort of credit like for where i am right now all the glory and honor will definitely always go back to God. I'm so excited. So right now we're just at the parking. I'm supposed to get another car park. Um, I mean not car park, but um, car pass. I'm just gonna bore you guys with the. I'm so grateful, but for real, for real, Nico, very grateful. Um, as much as I wish my mom was here, I know for sure she's so happy wherever she is in her resting place i can tell she's happy and so proud of me because honestly if anybody had told me that i would live to see this day and especially when she passed away i would have been like no there's no way but and uh, let me also say that i believe like uh, maliniko i believe that God doesn't ever make a mistake and sometimes the things that God does in our lives and we start complaining and we're like it's like God is punishing us let me tell you God just does what is right for us as much as we don't see it in our own human mindset in our own human eyes I believe God always has a purpose you are looking forward to more and more milestones I'm looking forward to um to god just unleashing what he has in store for me i'm just so ready for him to use me and let me live up to my purpose before i call it quits in this world yeah so let's see how the day turns out um let's hope uh, it's gonna be good um of course there's no party guys uh, because I, with Mandamano and everything that was going on and you know being alone it was just not going to happen I think I said that yesterday so I'm just like repeating myself but yeah a girl is happy very very happy let's go bag this alright yeah we go bag it yeah what i have flowers already like it's good you give people flowers when they're still alive don't wait for them to die then you start putting um flowers on their coffins oh my god this is so nice oh wow it's already feels so good
to give them the decrees, to give the powers to do everything that appertains. <laughs> Okay, guys, I feel like sharing on how I got here because, friends, it wasn't easy. It was not easy. <laughs> but here we are, excited, uh, finally graduating, bugging this thing. And I feel by so doing, I'll encourage one or two of you that gets to watch this video and especially up to this point. So, honey, feel encouraged and know there's God in heaven. So, here's the thing I lost my mom in 2021. I mean, it's a semester, like Katikatia semester. And um, I lost her on a Monday. And that week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, your wiki, I had cuts. So, and here, here I am. I've lost my mom on a Monday. And all this week, like all these days, I am supposed to sit for my cuts. Was anything going to stop and wait for me to mourn? No. Was life going to stop? No. So, I made sure as the burial preparation was going on, I made shovels to come and do my cuts. It wasn't easy. And I think I'm just saying it, Juju. I'm going to give you a story time on how I survived those first few months because they were tough. Tough. Capital T for tough. Gosh. But anyway, I came and did my cuts and got a lot of zeros. Like all the cuts that I did that week nearly put us zeros and because of that now i started being convinced that now even the end of semester exams like the main exams be and fail and i was so sure nilko are dead i'm um, na na sure nita retakes if not all the units at least half of it half of them you know <laughs> uh huh, something happened and i realized that i was the only person that understood what exactly i was going through so i and i decided to just do my things on my own like i'd revise on my own but honey sweetie there was nothing like revising every time i sat somewhere on my own my mind was wilding i'd start looking for my mom to see if i can at least even get to see a ghost of her but nothing of that sort happened so i did my exams anyway and i passed i got the results and i was amazed i was amazed and that's how i started like getting small small conviction that actually god didn't do this to punish me he didn't do what he did because he hates me or something and i still had a like a bright future ahead of me i started being convinced kidogo kidogo at a side kidogo like we grow this by faith small small faith you know I'm not saying small faith like small faith. You need to have faith anyway. Because me all this time, you know, my breadwinner is gone. Nothing bothered me at all. And I promise you, I'm not even lying to you guys. Meanly, I, I allowed everything to just flow. To just flow. I had an option of having people pay for my school fees because people because i had like a few people that were willing to pay for my school fees but i was like god you better make me get money to pay for my school fees and that's what we did with my god we had a committing and i told him i want to be able to pay for my school fees i want to be able to feed myself i want to be able to live the life that i was living when my mom was still alive i told god that and true to his promises He's been able to sustain me. I've been able to work, go for those part-time classes, 
and pass my exams and finally here we are graduating so i'm just telling you guys there's god in heaven and most of the time we go through things in life um actually personally from my mom's death i thought god was punishing us from something i mean for something and i remember even praying that god gets to forgive my mom even in her death you know if it's something that she did cuz you know why i was do, i was thinking and probably convinced that something god was punishing us for it's because the previous day like on a sunday before she died on a monday that sunday we were having like a conversation with my mom and she had a lot of dreams clearly from that conversation i knew my mom was not done needing to leave because she had so much in her that she needed to do she had a lot of dreams you friends and neither was i done needing her in my life so you see i started feeling because you know god it's something we've done to you and we are sorry like forgive my mom even in death cuz i still love her you know i wouldn't want you know like <laughs> i would pray and i still pray for her soul yeah but the point is i struggled to get where i am there's a lot of information that i've skipped because i don't want to make this video long but yay we are here graduated and excited and grateful to the ever back to the video guys i know we just been on the road and you're like where are we going at ufiki bana you know so after graduation we went to ancole grill for lunch you know with family and we had some really good time kai was really uh, well let me just say it was intimate cuz it was friend it was And honestly I didn't expect my graduation day to turn out to be as good as it did. The whole time child I was just anxious. But look at God. Look at God. And uh, I mean the day was just so amazing. It was good. It took me like 2 weeks for everything to sink in. 2 weeks. I'm not even lying. 2 weeks. 2 weeks. But yeah, yeah. Oh. I get this feeling. I wanna run away. Hit the highway and never look back. And we've come to the end of the video guys. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, comment, and see you guys on another video. Bye. I don't want to go out on my own. Maybe we could stay and make a home. It's written on my heart and in my soul